Hey guys, welcome back to the Mountain Nights. So let's talk about what are the things that are mentioned on the Carabiner, right? Uh, you would have seen Carabiners with a lot of things uh, written on it, but ever wondered what uh, individual things could mean? Well, depending on Carabiner to Carabiner, from manufacturer to manufacturer, there are uh, multiple things written on a Carabiner. However, as far as the climbing and mountaineering Carabiner is concerned, there are three to four things that are definitely mentioned on every such carabiner and only those carabiners must be used for climbing and motoring purpose. The number one is what is the weight in kilonewtons it can take, right? And the second is whether it is UIA certified or not, right? All right. In my hand, we have a carabiner. It's basically a locking carabiner. And if you can see, there are a couple of things written on a particular carabiner, right? Number one is your, the amount of weight that this particular carabiner can take in kilonewtons in three different orientations. The number one orientation is when the carabiner is vertically loaded, right? So how much weight it can take when it is vertically loaded, it is written in the first uh, portion, right? In this particular case, it can take 26 kilonewtons when the carabiner is loaded vertically. Now, the second thing that is written on it is 11 kilonewtons when the carabiner is cross-loaded. That is when the carabiner somehow becomes cross-loaded, right? Now the third information is when the carabiner is opened, right? Due to any reason if the carabiner gate gets opened and that is only when you forget to, un uh, forget to lock it, only then it has the tendency to get opened, right? And the amount of weight this entire frame that can take is mentioned in the last and in this particular carabiner it is 8 kilonewtons. Alright, now the very important thing that is something written as CE that is uh, Charlie Echo and some uh, numbers ahead of it that is European conformity uh, standards that a particular carabiner follows that is basically safety standards as per the European countries. Right. So these are the basic things that every carabiner should have specifically uh, when we talk about climbing or uh, mountaineering carabiners and any carabiner devoid of these information must not be used for your uh, climbing or mountaineering purpose. If you talk about uh, plain carabiner, the same things uh, should be written and th same things are mentioned on a carabiner if they are uh, equivalent to climbing or mountaineering standards. So that's all from my side uh, in this particular short video. We'll get back to you with more elaborate videos on uh, carabiners, type of carabiner, different type of carabiners, what are uh, the usage pros and cons of every carabiner. And if you have your questions, if you want to leave a comment, please uh, feel free to drop a comment section below, right? And uh, if you have any question, feel free to write it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. We'll be back with more such videos. Till then, take care. See you soon.